Hello guys, what's up? This is Shared Talking. Welcome back to my channel. Today, video we talk about the fast live stream from Square Enix from yesterday. They started pretty late, and it was a very good live stream. I must thank then all the Square Enix team and also the producer for being there. There were a lot of good things, and I'll be showing you for those that miss it, and also be discussing something that was presented there. Well, uh, I also need to start talking about Reddit. There is a post here by Sladen. And there is a resume of everything that was discussed in that uh, live stream. As you can see, there are a lot of good things that are coming. There is a um, 30% increase in medals, so we need less gems to pull in the next banners. That's nice. They don't have that in JP. Uh, people ask it also about filters, so they uh, are working on something to help out with filter. We call it of life updates. Uh, someone asked it also if Global is reaching out to JP. They said that they don't have a plan so far, but they may increase the speed. Uh, they also don't say too much about if they will keep reducing the price for rerun banners because we got sometimes 18,000 PD banners in the past, and right now we don't have that anymore. But they may implement this in the future. We will also probably have this faster rank up system in Global because they want to implement quality of life updates before. JP, as you can see, the auto system was implemented way before if you would just follow J JP schedule. There is also plans for all Saga games remastered, they say they want to do it for all of them. Well, it still depends on the release order and also uh, how they will do it, because some games may be a little more complex, especially because of Unlimited Saga. They also answered that before. There are also some talks about Saga the stage, they are working on it, but I don't know if they will be uh, available soon or not. Um, they were also asked if they are planning an original Saga game, and they couldn't say anything, but this was actually a very good thing, because they don't talk about uh, before it's time to talk. And I do believe that they are working on a new game in the series, pretty much. The game is doing very good success in JP, so that's uh, helping also the brand. They um, cannot make an, any formal statement right now, and they will also probably change how the ticket system for auto works. It seems like Ishikawa-san may give us more as gift, but they may also uh, change the limit. People were asking about at least 100 per day. That will increase the auto farming for everyone, and I do believe it's a good idea. They can also give some for shops and everything else, and people that want to farm more, they will. It's not like they need, like running 200 stations a day, it's already a good for most casual gamers. They were talking about also collaboration, there are many requests, but they still believe that they should be working with the original games first. The Last Remnant is considered a saga game and people are asking for it as well. We got a remaster of this game, so it's likely that we may see some of these characters. And also, uh, when are we getting different Romance Saga 2 characters? Because many people are requesting, they don't have a personality most of the time. Like Minerva was requested by the global community and they release it. So they say that they want to implement more of this as well. Uh, and they are also watching for the community for which characters they want new global exclusives. I don't know if they will make a poll, but stay tuned, that may happen. And also there was some questions about equipment management, if they can change the UI, and they are working on some others, uh, quality of life updates. With that said, let's just go into stuff that we got for the data mine. There's plenty of stuff to discuss. Um, we will receive the battle with the new 8 stars with today's reset, and this is probably similar to the very nice challenges we had with the battle with the 8 stars, the past one. And now, in Romance Saga Universe, we have characters that represent the Romance in Saga 3 protagonists, and we will have to face them in challenges. The awards will be very nice, I think. You can see gems, orbs, and also gold pieces. Well, there's plenty of new characters, so gold pieces will help a lot. There is also the return of the World Tower. It will not be today. They, they have a schedule. You can see the schedule in another picture here. Uh, let me see here. Yes, in this picture, you can see that it returns on 12. And because we have more characters, we also have access to more weapons. It may be easier for those that were struggling. And there's also a release of a character that will help you if you didn't have global exclusive rock bouquet. We'll talk about that later. And with that information, we can also skip floors depending on where we stop it. The image only shows 150. And I asked it during the live stream, they didn't say anything. So I cleared stage number 200. Maybe that is another stop point. It does not show here. But if it's not, we have to restart from floor 150. 
but that's good enough because we can already get all gems and rewards up to that point if you don't want to play that again it's okay at least you get the rewards we also be getting 3000 gems by the new home screen missions and after that there is this new event the new conquest this one is only solo mode that is it says here and you can get eight new assess equipment so you only rely on your own strength to kill all enemies and bosses we have two equipments there is a martial artist weapon a sword weapon a spear weapon a dark staff weapon a wind staff weapon a happier these are all the things we will be able to get uh, but as you can see here, the enemies will be balanced around your party strength. I do believe that you need at least a minimum of strength to compete here and be able to clear stuff. But if you are not a hardcore player, don't worry, you still be able to clear depending on your strategies. And the stronger the enemy, the better the reward. So if you still get stronger during the event, the rewards will get better as you go. There is also information about the bosses and you will be able to choose the direction you take, but in the end you still have to defeat them all. And depending on your best characters, you can farm to clear the shop with different weaknesses. Like maybe people will have better sun damage dealers so that they can farm these two bosses here, they will give uh, less trouble. And there's Golden Ball here, she will receive a New Year style that's pretty defensive. Uh, so we also have information that We'll be able to get mod stones to drop as you see here mod stones one and mod stones two like i said in my past review they are not limited they just drop when you are running the stages so you can get the first upgrade for all the boss weapons only the second upgrade is limited depending on some other stuff like this uh blue stone that's actually a star and they are even showing you here that this is the moment for you to start upgrading your weapons uh, you still have this progress mode, so you still have to clear more than one some stages to get the max rewards. Very nice, also all the styles will get increased status gains. Uh, here we have the information about the banner itself, and that's pretty nice because, uh, as you can see, we have an increased medals, it says here 30%. Not only that, but they kept the standard step up sumo. This global version is better than the JP version that you have to spend more when you start. You will have to spend 6,000 paid euros to do a full round, and you can do three rounds on this. Uh, we'll be talking about these styles and reviews. They were buffed and they are way better for global. Some of them are very interesting. Yes, they are. We have this banner with Mad Lynch and Duen Valdor, and the other banner will be with Polka, Xenon, Evelyn, and Fairy. As you don't know what to say about then which banner is better than the other because it depends on your box i'll be explaining on the reviews the reviews will be separated and you can watch then i will try to release one close to the another but it will be before the update you will be able to see the review before the update and with that said there is also this seven day jewel pack it will probably be something with a good volume for those that want to help the game and there is a returning login bonus so if you have some friends that stop at the plane but may return because of the auto gameplay system well talk about this to then maybe they will get even better rewards just by returning to the game and the battle with eight stars will also give us a login bonus same thing with the word tower some login bonus as well and the last one is this we will also be getting some login bonus so plenty of gems and things with that said, that's it guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, I'll be making the review, so maybe 3 hours for an hour or even less than that, you see this in this channel, thank you so much, hope to see you soon in the next episode. Bye.